graph, vertical velocity versus time, object is dropped from rest. Welcome. The object is dropped from rest, graph vertical velocity on the y-axis versus time on the x-axis. Ignore air resistance, assume constant acceleration due to gravity, and we are told that positive x is to the right, horizontally to the right, and negative y is vertically down. So we want final vertical velocity versus time. So we start with the expression for the final vertical velocity. And what is the expression for the final vertical velocity? Final vertical velocity is V final. Most of the textbooks use just V. So V is equal to V0 plus AT. What is V0? V0 is the initial vertical velocity. What is A? Acceleration along the vertical. What is T? Time in seconds. So we have the starting equation V is equal to V0 plus AT. And then what do we do? Apply the condition drop from rest. Drop from rest. If it is dropped from rest, what is V0? Zero? zero. It is let go from rest. So initial vertical velocity is zero. So that gives us zero plus AT or V is equal to AT. So we have V is equal to AT. Do we know anything about the acceleration? Along the vertical, the earth is pulling on the object and the object is pulling on the earth as well. So we have acceleration on the vertical equals negative 9.8 meters per second per second. Don't forget positive x horizontally to the right, negative y vertically down. So your acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second per second. So substitute that as well. So instead of A, we have negative 9.8. So what is our expression for the vertical velocity at any time t? Negative 9.8 t. Do not forget, it was dropped from rest. So once we have V is equal to negative 9.8 t, we just substitute t is equal to one second just like that. V substitute T is equal to 2 seconds just like that. V is equal to 3 seconds. Substitute T is equal to 3 seconds just like that. Because V is equal to negative 9.8 T and there is no T to the power of 2 term. No T squared term. Because of that reason, you will see that the graph is a straight line. So V is equal to negative 9.8 T. Substitute T is equal to 1 second and we get negative 9.8. Substitute T is equal to 2 seconds, negative 19.6. Substitute T is equal to 3 seconds, negative 29.4. So the next thing is plot. 1, negative 9.8. 2, negative 19.6. 3, negative 29.4. And when we plot that, we expect it to be a straight line passing through the origin. Please don't forget, it is on its way down, so we expect the velocity to be negative. So negative 9.8 at t is equal to 1, at t is equal to 2, negative 19.6, at t is equal to 3, negative 29.4, and you can go on like that. You join all, all those points, and what do we get? Straight line passing through the origin. Do not forget again, our initial vertical velocity was zero at t is equal to zero seconds. It was dropped from rest. Straight line, it is not a curve because there is no t to the power of two term. Thank you.